Chips, it is Grace, and this is an overview of the Eskina section in Sliver Chips. So, Eskina has some kind of particular details that we need to make sure we're aware of when designing the page, just so that when we print, um, everything is accurate, but all the formatting and design is the same as the rest of the paper. So you don't need to learn anything new, it's just a couple of things kind of surrounding text that we need to be cognizant of. So, the first thing is we need to make sure when we copy in text, we make uh, the character styles in Spanish. This is just for the syllable breaks um, that we know um, changes language to language. So if we change it back to English and we watch the um, highlighted text, we can see there's a shift just slightly. Um, but that does change readability, so we need to make sure that we make that change. The second thing is folios. So folios, um, we have to change for every cycle, obviously. But also, we need to make sure that they're formatted in the correct way um, and the correct spelling. And kind of the um, same note as folios, we need to make sure that our um, CC library kind of elements that we copy in are changed to Spanish. So for bylines, we have to make sure that everything is translated from English to Spanish, including titles. And this is voice box. And we need to make sure that, you know, everything, including grades, are in Spanish. Um, print date, like I mentioned with folio. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I missed. Oh, yeah, accents. So sometimes um, when you copy and paste text into InDesign, sometimes accents get left off or kind of do not transfer well. So usually this gets caught by an editor, but if not, if you see some kind of weird formatting, you can always compare it back to the text that you've copied in and make sure that you make the correct change by copying from Google or using, you know, the InDesign kind of tools to add the accent. If you have any questions, feel free to Slack us.